back to my channel. I'm Lauren if you're new here and welcome back to another edition of my Taylor Swift Tuesdays. Yes, this is a shorter Taylor Swift Tuesday because I have been working all night on my decoded video script and I also randomly like, developed carpal tunnel. I mean, I don't know if I actually did, but wrist pain. Regardless, a lot of other things have had my attention right now and I'm so excited to get you guys this decoded video of you need to calm down. Such an epic thing, so many things to go through. That I decided I would give you like a little mini TST because the bulk of this week's stuff was the you need to calm down music video, let's be real here. But I did have some smaller stories that I wanted to include for you guys, so I hope that you enjoy. In case you haven't noticed, I have been uploading an insane amount of videos. Guys, since last week's TST, I've uploaded five videos. Five, that's six total. Things have been wild, no wonder why my wrist hurts, but I wanna say thank you so much again to my friend Brad, who fell into my lap by chance because he's a subscriber of mine and he's been helping me edit. I'm so thankful to you, Brad. His Instagram will be linked down below. Please go show him some love and let's get into today's video. If this is your first time here, I'm Lauren. Subscribe, like the video, yada yada, you know the drill. Very quickly before I get started, guys, I'm so proud of this video that I uploaded last Sunday. It is called Three Simple Ways to Deal with Anxiety and Depression and Become a Happier Person. So if you've ever felt sad, down in the dumps, and you want some easy, doctor-free ways to get yourself out of it, go check out that video. I would love to know what you guys think. And then one more quick update is that I have decided this coming Saturday, Saturday, June 22nd, there will be no Storytime Saturday. I'm actually flying back home to Colorado to go on a big camping trip with my friends. I need the mountains, you guys. My soul needs it, and I'm giving myself like a little break, so I hope that you guys understand. I will be right back at it next week with Taylor Swift Tuesday and another Storytime Saturday, but next Saturday, there will be no Storytime Saturday. Let's get into today's video. First, let's talk about Katy Perry and the fact that she posted an Instagram 11 minutes after my last week's TST went up. Yeah, that was fun. But honestly, guys, I think it's so very cool. Obviously, at this point, we all know now that it's because Katy Perry was featured like a huge surprise guest in the You Need to Calm Down music video, which was just such an awesome surprise, by the way. What I was going to talk about that had to do with her Instagram post from last week, again, I like don't know how you guys do it. You are all so freaking smart. Maybe it was one of you, maybe it was a bunch of you, I don't know. You guys banded together somehow, zoomed in, and realized that this photo of the plate of cookies that Taylor Swift probably hand-baked for Katy Perry, this was taken at Taylor Swift's house because this marble countertop is Taylor Swift's countertop. I don't know how you guys did this or like who thought of this first, but you guys combed back into Taylor Swift's past, found a photo of Calvin Harris and Carly Kloss at Taylor Swift's kitchen, and connected the dots that this is the same countertop, and voila, there you go, Miss KP and TS in the same room at Taylor Swift's house. But you didn't stop there, did you? If you zoom in a little bit further, you see a little cobra figurine sitting there by like the, the, the bowl thing where like all the keys and the receipts always go. At least that's where they go in my house. We see a little cobra figurine, but then, if you zoom in even further, you see what looks like a photo of Mr. Joe Alwyn cuddling said cute little kitten Benjamin Button. Guys, I, I don't know whether to be impressed or scared. This was so good. I did not see that myself. Bravo, guys. Bravo. So impressed. I would love to just be in a situation where Katy Perry and Taylor are just hanging out, eating cookies, talking about whatever they talk about. That would be pretty cool. It's pretty cool to think about. But honestly, I'm just so happy that like that's in the past. I love that Taylor Swift recently went on an interview and talked about how her and Katy Perry like rekindled things. Like they've been rekindled since the beginning of Reputation Tour, but they hadn't really like met up. And I just love that this whole video came together with burger and fry love. That will be discussed a little bit further in my decoding video, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed, get post notifications turned on. So yeah, this Instagram post from Katy Perry was awesome, and then Taylor Swift responded with a bunch of little heart emojis, and all was well in the world because burgers belong with fries. And then, the next story I wanted to talk to you about that is also gonna be featured in my decoding video, is that Taylor Swift surprised a bunch of lucky bar goers at the Stonewall Inn in New York City last week by jumping up on stage to join Jesse Tyler Ferguson, love him, and serenaded the entire crowd with an acoustic version of Shake It Off. I am so here for this friendship. Like, I just love Jesse's like little dance move and he's just like living his best life on stage. I love that so very much. After the You Need to Calm Down music video, now the Stonewall imagery plays a bigger piece. But again, you'll have to stay tuned to when that video gets posted. Also, when you're done watching this video, you should go look up the footage that people captured of Taylor Swift playing Shake It Off acoustic on stage. I can't play it on this channel because of copyright. You know the drill, but it's there and it's really, really fun. Like I said, this whole past 
past week has been really crazy and full of Taylor Swift content. So either obviously or hopefully you guys had a chance to check out my live stream reaction to Taylor's Instagram live stream. So very meta. But in case you didn't watch it live, maybe you noticed that you had some problems with Instagram for about like an hour and a half last Thursday. Well, we're all pretty sure it's because Taylor Swift like most likely 100% probably did break Instagram. No, really though. When Taylor was done live streaming, Instagram would not load for anybody. Instagram hasn't like come right out and been like, yeah, she broke it, but a little too coincidental in my book. Even her publicist, Tree Payne, tweeted out, when you're pretty sure your boss broke Instagram. <laughs> same, yeah, me, me too, Tree, same. So funny, oh my gosh. Also, if any of you guys watched the live stream, did you see Lindsay Lohan commenting on the live stream? I just found this hysterical. Lindsay Lohan was the biggest like, hype man there. And it was just like every other fangirl in that live stream, I was dying of laughter. People screenshotted multiple instances of Lindsay Lohan saying, we think you're great. Heart eye emoji. You should respond to your fans. My mom was in cats. <laughs> I don't know why I just found this like so very funny. It's just very Lindsay Lohan of her. You know what? I stan. I appreciate it. I always feel so weird saying the word stan out loud. It sounds better on the internet. I'll just keep it there. And then next, I want to tell you guys all about this incredibly heartwarming story of how Taylor Swift went above and beyond for one of her fans once again. Annie McMahon is a 22-year-old Swifty from New York City, and she suffers from cystic fibrosis. She's had a double lung transplant, and she needs a third, but she's too sick for the procedure, and she's currently in hospice care. A video of her and her friends dancing around in her hospital room to You Belong With Me went viral, and they ended up catching Taylor Swift's attention. Taylor Swift herself called up Annie on the phone and got the chance to talk to her and it really just made all of Annie's dreams come true. Annie's dad posted on Facebook. Thank you everyone. Taylor Swift just talked with Annie for 17 minutes. She was so happy and full of life. It was as if they were best friends and had known each other for years. They say it takes a village. Thanks everyone for reaching out to your contacts. It worked. Taylor heard the outcry and as a true professional, she responded and gave Annie McMahon the medicine she needs to breathe another day and fight the fight. Thanks. This whole story just really, really warmed my heart and it touched me and it just, I love hearing when someone as busy as Taylor Swift just reaches out and does things for these fans. And I know it's just something as small as like 20 minutes of Taylor Swift's life. I know that, oh God, I get chills talking about it. I know that that made such a huge positive impact in Annie's life. And I just, she sounds like Annie has just been through so much and she just really, really needed a win this time. Oh, I had to report on the story. It made me so very happy to hear. But my entire Taylor Swift Tuesday script that I had planned for today got kind of jumbled with all the news that's happening, but I did want to go back very quickly and talk about Taylor Swift's interview on the Ellen DeGeneres show because she did a few things that we didn't even realize we missed because we didn't know it at the time. When Taylor Swift was telling Ellen in the audience the first time she saw Benjamin Button, her kitten, and was just like, oh my God, this is the cat for me. Taylor Swift specifically said, and then my eyes turned into heart. When Taylor Swift revealed the cover of Lover, um, we saw that Taylor Swift had a big glitter heart around her eye and I think I now have an idea of what people are gonna be wearing on their face when the TS7 lover tour comes around. Big old glitter heart around their eyes. I just thought that was like so very funny. And a part of me just wonders if that was on purpose or if Taylor was just honestly telling the story about how she saw this kitten and was like, hi, you're mine now. And then I guess let's take a moment to talk about the fact that the album name is Lover, we know that now, and the fact that this new single is called You Need to Calm Down. It's so funny to me because Lover was the most obvious choice that we had all talked about, but we were like, no, 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 Taylor wouldn't do that. That's way too obvious. Let's move past it and then entertain the crazier theories that would keep us up at night. And we sure did that. And it's just like so funny to think about like, oh, it was Lover, like the simplest answer was the simplest answer. We were just like, okay, so like her teeth and her nose are like meeting up in this way. So that means 823, the album's coming out 823. I don't know if what I said makes sense, but I know you know what I'm talking about. We Swifties can get a little carried away sometimes, but I thought that was like pretty funny. I'm so happy that we finally have the album name, the release date, there's like so much going on. Also, how come she's releasing the album the day that I'm at a wedding, the night? that I'm at a wedding in Colorado. Ugh, I'm gonna be late on my reactions, which sucks, but 
that's okay. And just like that, I thought that like I didn't have any other stories to tell you guys about today. Well, this just in breaking news, but not really breaking because it's a few hours later. Looks like Taylor Swift just did an interview with Capital FM, and I want to read you some quotes from one of my favorite Taylor Swift news accounts on Twitter, at T Swift and Z. They always have the best stuff. You guys have to go follow them. I'm just gonna read you what they tweeted last night. Taylor Swift on why she follows zero people on Instagram. She said, I started to realize that if I didn't wish one of my friends a happy birthday on Instagram, there would literally be articles saying unsquatted. I feel that. I feel that like I'm not a celebrity, but like I just have so many friends that like I genuinely like feel guilty when I miss out on my friends to be like Instagram story, like happy birthday. I don't know. Is that just me? Can you guys relate? Let me know in the comments if I'm just alone here and a weirdo. Another tweet I want to read to you is about Taylor Swift talking about Katy Perry, obviously in the new music video. She said, something felt so much lighter about my life when things became really good between us. I came up with the idea for this video. I wrote the treatment for it and I sent it to her. We thought the costumes would be a funny way of making a symbolic visual of two people who belong together. When I talked to her about it, she and I really wanted to be a symbol of redemption and forgiveness and the fact that you can grow up. I love that. I love that so very much. She also recently went on a different radio show and she talked a little bit more in detail about her and Katy Perry that like, got back together and like saw each other at like a party. That's actually really interesting and I talk about that in my decoding video so once again stay tuned for that. And then in general here are some other tweets of what people have to say about Taylor Swift and the new music video and the message that she's sending. Adam Lambert who is a tattoo artist in case you didn't realize said she's making a statement about acceptance and people that hate on other people and how it's tiresome. She's really repping for the LGBTQ community in this video. I think Taylor is making some really bold social commentary and I'm really impressed, Adam Lambert said to the Today Show. Same here. I mean, I think this is pretty revolutionary for Taylor Swift. She's got such a huge platform. And the fact that she's using it in this way really says a lot. And then, oh, this is so sweet. Cara Delevingne, who's obviously like a really close friend of Taylor Swift, said to Variety Magazine, I've cried and I've been texting her all day. She is incredible. I think what she's doing is brilliant. It's just the beginning. I think most of those people who are in support don't realize how important it is to say it out loud. That's a really good point. I love that so very much. And then of course, like Todrick Hall, her bestie and executive producer on the video, he actually did his own reaction video watching himself, but then at the end he had this like lovely little commentary. You guys should absolutely go check that out. And I will include that link down below, but Todrick Hall also recently spoke with Access Online and when he was talking about Taylor Swift and Katy Perry rekindling their friendship, Todrick was talking about how much Taylor Swift really loves Katy Perry's new song, Never Really Over. He said that she's been blasting Never Really Over, she's been blasting it so much, and she truly authentically loves that song. We all know that Taylor Swift went back into her Apple Music playlist and she added that song as song number 13 actually. And I just think it's really cool that Taylor Swift and Katy Perry are like coming back together and being friends again. It's not a publicity stunt. This is for real. They had the like awkward vibes at first of like, okay, we like made up, but like we've never run into each other. Do we, do we reach out? Do we not reach out? And I think it's really cool that it happened authentically at a party. They ran into each other and they were just like, let's hug it out. We've grown up and moved past it. I love that so much. And that's honestly all the Taylor Swift stories that I have today that aren't related to the You Need to Calm Down music video. So make sure you stay tuned for that because I will be doing a full in-depth decoding of the You Need to Calm Down music video, including a bunch of things that people aren't talking about. You know that I always deliver when I say that. And I will actually be moving Steel Swift's style from this TST into that video because once again, make sure you're following at Taylor Swift styled on Instagram. She is the bomb. I don't know how she does this so quickly, but she's basically gone through and like picked out so many random things that Taylor Swift is actually wearing in the video itself. And I will be including those links in that video. I'm hoping for it to go up Wednesday. Please bear with me. I am currently on a plane right now. When you're watching this, I'm on a plane. That's fun and kind of weird to think about. But yes, guys, it is just such an exciting time to be a Swifty. I feel like I say that all the time. Let's make, let's make shirts. You guys wanna make mugs? Let's say it's an exciting time to be a Swifty. I'd buy that mug. Maybe wear it on like a shirt or a pop socket. Guys, make sure you go back and watch like all five of the videos that I posted this past week because there was a lot of stuff going on and there's just more stuff to come. I'm so very excited for this decoding video. And yeah, that is it for today's Taylor Swift Tuesday. This week's video shout out goes to my YouTube subscriber, Kristen Shockley. Kristen commented on my last Storytime Saturday video about skydiving and she said, ironically, I'm actually really terrified of heights, but I've been skydiving twice now. My second jump, I even pulled the chute open, steered, and landed on my own. Um, okay, can't relate. Skydiving was something I always wanted to do growing up, and the feeling you get when that door opens is unlike anything else. I highly encourage everyone to do it. Okay, Kristen, you're scared of heights, and you're just throwing your... You balls. <laughs> 
That's amazing. I'm so impressed with you. Thank you so much for watching my skydiving video and sharing your story with me. I love that. If you want to be next week's video shout out, first of all, make sure you're following me on all the social media things. And then we're going to do next week's video shout out on YouTube also. If you want to be next week's video shout out, go to my last Saturday video, which is called Three Simple Ways to Handle Anxiety and Depression and Become a Happier Person. Go in the comments and let me know something that you guys do that really, really is calming to you, whether it's singing, reading, painting, talking to your friends, going on a walk, whatever it is, like you get into a, like a funk or just some kind of weird mood. What really calms you down? Is it listening to a Taylor Swift song? I can relate to that for sure, but go comment on that video and you might see your name up here in next week's TST that I promise will be longer than this one. There's just a lot of you need to calm down stuff going on this week, so I figured I'd like consolidate into one video, but I wanted to give you guys a TST because I've been doing this for 59 weeks straight now. I'm not gonna miss one, even if it's like a little shorty guy. <laughs> All right, I don't know what I just said. I gotta go to bed, I don't know. I love you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please make sure you leave it a like. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to my channel with your post notifications turned on so that you know exactly when I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my decoding one. Get excited. Are you stoked? You should be stoked. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.